What's up, YouTube? And welcome. What's up, YouTube? And welcome to another music reaction with me, Dyke Martinal. Yeah, 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 etc. Um, so today's recommendation comes from my Discord. This comes from checking my phone, checking my phone, checking my phone, 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 phone. phone. I I do actually know who it is. I've only got a few people in my Discord, but you know you got to keep the uh, ritual of checking my phone, checking my phone, checking my phone, phone. Uh, so this comes from the Rose, uh, and the Rose has said, I don't know if you know Boris, but they released their third Heavy Rocks album this month. This month? Third album in a month. Uh, I know I read this message before, um, maybe I skipped past that part, because, um, yeah, three in a month, that's crazy. Uh, and the Rose has also mentioned, not necessarily for a reaction video, but I would just like to recommend them to people here who might not know them. Although, they've, although they have released 32 albums since 1992, Laughing Sweating Face. Um, yeah, I remember reading the, the 32 albums part, but I didn't realise the three albums in a month, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, but yeah, no, um, never heard of this band Boris. Um, I did a tiny bit of research, as in I went to Google and did the typical, and I see that uh, Boris, or Borisu, uh, is a Japanese ex experimental musical band formed in 1992 in Tokyo. And composed of drummer Atsuo, uh, guitarist bassist Takeshi, and guitarist keyboardist Wata. Uh, all three members contribute vocals. Nice. It's cool. Um, so yeah, no idea what to expect here, but um, I'm assuming it'll be something cool or interesting or something in between. Yeah. Anyway, before we get into the video, if you feel like you want to subscribe, uh, you can do that. That's amazing. That makes you a gangster, but a good one. The one that, you know, is like appreciated in the community, not the one that goes to jail. Went too far in that one. If you want to hit the bell, uh, that's cool. Bells are nice. You can be the bell of the ball. <laughs> uh, and lastly, if you do want to put a like on my face, that makes you really nice. Um, what, what can I give people this time? You will have... Oh, shit. I will give you a target slipper. Now I want to wear this slipper. No, now I'm wearing one slipper. Alright, let's get into the song. Oh, the weather outside is weather. Play. Play. Play with play. She is burning. Just in case you're wondering, the camera angle's not me. I haven't put a weird thing to, for copyright or something. Um, I'm going to pull that back a bit and we'll go back to the part where the song scared the shit out of me.
All right, yeah, now th this is really, really, um, it's really, really creative. Um, what's the right words? So uh, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of things to this song. Like, in some ways, it's just a driving along groovy rock song uh, with lots, you know, little lead parts, which is cool. Um, uh, experimental was the word I was thinking of, which is what they'll classify it as. Uh, but yeah, no, um, the, the vocals are pretty consistently like that, um, sort of whiny. <laughs> um, terrible example. But, um, yeah, the, the vocals and how a lot of this song reminds me of being in like a band and doing jam practice. And it has sort of that rawness of just like the feel, like it, it almost feels like a live song in a recorded song, if that makes sense. Uh, probably doesn't, I'm probably talking shit. Um, and then there was a part where it, um, I think it had some haunt in the background and it had that riff went dun, 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 dun. And it sort of reminded me of a part of it, like in like a video game, not a specific video game, but a video game where it's like, you're about to win something. It's like dun, 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 dun. Here's your prize. Yeah, and I also think if this band's got like um, 32 albums, I'm assuming that they might be one of those bands that's like, okay, this song sounds like this, and then you listen to another song, it's like, this is the same fucking band. <laughs> like, as, um, yeah, I guess in Australia, we, we have a band called uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, where they also have a shitload of albums, and it's like each song or each album will be like, is that the same band? Um, so yeah, let's keep going. They're like heavy vocals, soft in the background. Or am I just hearing shit? Yeah, it's becoming schizophrenic. What are you going to do with that flame, mate? Yeah. So that was Boris. She is burning. Chair Creek. Um, yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, so I already mentioned a lot of the points that I was um, thinking about this song. Some of it was like kind of old, like hardcore punk to me. Like, da 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 You could picture um, maybe like Henry Rollins um, <laughs> um, yelling and getting angry on top of it. Uh, I also... And I, I think this is on purpose, but there was a guitar solo in it, and then like every third or fourth note sounds like it was off scale. But I think that's the point. Like, I'm sure if you've made 32 albums, you know how to keep um, a solo on scale. But with this one, you know, some of the notes would sound, oh, for lack of better words, if I was to, like, if, you know, a friend of mine's like, hey, Mike, listen to, no, hey, Dyke, uh, listen to this solo, I'd be like, that's a bung note. <laughs> um, change that note. But, if the purpose is to make the solo sound a little bit, you know, off-putting and, and a little bit raw and a little bit, um, yeah, just uh, unpretty, uh, which I'm assuming is what they've done, um, kudos. Uh, because I'm like, like, yeah, da 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 I'm like, oh, is that right? <laughs> um, but all in all, I really, really like this song. Um, that, that was... Uh, you know, definitely an experimental experience. Um, and 
you know, for, for, for the most part, I say it's experimental, and it had some experimental elements, but in another way, it was just a cool song to see live, I reckon. Because, you know, you could mosh to that. Like, you know, again, um, you know, I, I can picture running around a mosh pit to something like that. For sure. For sure. Yeah, so, uh, thank you very much for the recommendation there. That was a cool one. Um, I'll have to check out all other 32 albums in time. This channel will become nothing but Boris. Um, but yeah, no, if anybody else has a recommendation, hit me up in the comments below. If it's something I've seen, I shall let you know. There's my finger. Uh, now, if it's something I haven't seen, I'll try and get to it soon. Also, that link there, right here. Right here, I can almost grab it, but I'm just too far. It's out of screen. Um, yeah, that's to my social media. If, um, you know, you can go there and you can check out all my stuff. But the main thing there is my Discord. Um, my Discord has lots of fun things. There's, you know, nice people chatting about music and their favorite bands and, and um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but also the main thing there is I've got a recommendations folder. That recommendations folder is a little bit easier for me to manage than a YouTube comment. So, you know, I can just go next, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Um, but if Discord is not your thing, Greg, I'm waiting for the one person named Greg going, he's talking to me and I fucking hate Discord. <laughs> but yeah, if Discord's not your thing, just keep putting comments, that's fine. Anyway, um, thanks for checking out this video, I shall see you next time. Bye! I doubt you even heard that. Bye.